The little baby's getting bottle fed, y'all. Look at this. That's so cool. By its keeper, one of its keepers. Look at it. It's reaching through the fence. How cute is this? Look at it reaching through. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. That's adorable. How sweet. This is so special. So special. Sweet baby. Oh. It's hungry. He's a growing baby. Climbing the fence. It's like, give me that bottle. I'm ready. <laughs> Too funny. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Do you know the story behind them? Yes, I do. I've been okay. following it online. Me too. Isn't since it birth, yes. Oh. So special. It really is. And it's just, uh, last time I was here was right after the previous baby died. Um, Batari, I believe its name was. Yeah, it was so heartbreaking. Oh, it was so heartbreaking, yeah. It was born, I think it was last, the end of last year, and um, it lived a few months and got sick, and it was so sad. But this little guy is thriving. Isn't he? Oh my goodness. So cool. I didn't know when I came if he would be out, you know, on exhibit, so I didn't, was hoping, but, you know. I saw something from 11.30 to 1.30. Uh-huh. Um, I think that they are somewhere on exhibit. Ah, okay. Awesome. He's so cute. <laughs> Reaching through the fence. Look at him. He's wanting to play. Oh. <laughs> How sweet. Too funny. I want her I do too. I so do. Best job in the world. Mm -hmm. Give him the, the mama a scratch. That's its mama May. That baby is so playful. This is so special. Oh. <laughs> hey, Joey. Thanks for the super heart. Oh, look at it. He's grabbing for the bottle. He's like, give me that. That's good stuff. <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> it's so special. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, no, give it here. <laughs> so cute. Oh my gosh. So precious. You gotta love his little hair, dude, don't you? Yeah. Oh, yes, definitely. Oh. Precious, absolutely precious.
Oh, look at that bottom lip. <laughs> That's handy. That's handy. <laughs> so sweet. So amazing. Oh, wonderful. We're very ecstatic that he is back with his mama. Where Reunited. Mom, so, uh, uh, she did actually maintain some lactation throughout that time, and so now that he's back with her, he is nursing again, and so the lactation's picking up, so the bottles are just kind of supplemental because mm -hmm. we were bottle feeding him for so long. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, he is still getting a lot of nutrition from her, too. Uh, the dog is pretty good about sharing her food, too, as well. So tends to give him the things she doesn't like, but still better than I give him anything. <laughs> yes, definitely. So special. How old will he nurse? Uh, they wean at about a year old. So okay. he's already eating some solids. Like I uh -huh. said, like a lot of her diet he gets to. So, uh -huh. um, but yeah, usually around one year old is when they would wean. Oh, wow. Uh, it can yeah. extend longer than that, but it's more of a comfort thing at that point. Uh -huh. than actual, like nutrition for them. Oh, yeah. So. Looks like they're eating granola. Uh, yeah, this is, this is trail mix. Trail so, mix, yeah. Uh, we have a pretty strong enrichment program here at Cameron Park, so a lot of enrichment is anything that's considered stimulating Special, or novel to them yeah. in their environment. So it's food, it's toys, it's, you can scatter the food on exhibit, anything like that. So uh -huh. um, these guys, because they are primates, have a wider variety of food. Our vet approves for them versus other animals. So we right. always give her a little bit of trail mix here. Um, she's pretty good about coming up and just letting us bottle feed him. We need to, but we try to give her a reward for that just so that way she doesn't uh -huh. ever decide not to come up anymore. But right. We don't give a bottle, yeah. so. so she gets trail mix and the baby gets a bottle. Yep, pretty much. Well, yeah. Pretty much of it. Yep, so. Could you tell us a little bit? I know that orangutans are kind of in, not in, I don't know if they're endangered, but uh, they're. Yeah, they are critically endangered. They are so, critically uh, endangered. The rate their deforestation is going where they're found, they will probably be extinct in the next 10 to 20 oh. years in the wild just because. Not That's heartbreaking. Um, the issue is palm oil farming is a real big thing. So palm oil, if people don't know, it's in everything. Like beauty products, it beauty is. products, cleaning products. Like oh. you look on the labels, it's all there. And so oh, no. um, there's a, the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo actually created an app that lets you look to see if the product you're using uses sustainable products. I was going to ask, is there a way so, to check so uh, we yeah, don't buy online. those products? You can yeah. see a lot of them also will have the RSPO written uh -huh. on it, which is uh, sustainable palm oil friendly as well. So, okay. Like I said, right now, the, the deforestation right now is what's number really one the most is because there's just nowhere for them to live mm -hmm. because their habitat is just gone. Oh, that's uh, horrible. They're also only found on the island of Sumatra, so uh -huh. that also kind of limits where they're uh, yeah. so it's even more endangered because of such a yeah. small area of habitat that they live in naturally. So, so heartbreaking. So what y'all do here, breeding programs like this are really critical. Right. It's, it's really hard uh, to get them to breed, and it also it's a very slow process because they are great apes. They mm -hmm. stay with their mom, you know, until they're eight to ten years old. Absolutely. The males and goats, you know, stay with them even longer than that. So yeah. With things like this, like once she has him, like she can't have another baby for those eight to ten years. Oh wow. Until after that, when like he's matured and is, you mm -hmm. most likely be sent to another facility for breeding purposes. Right. So. What is that? How long do they live? Um, so they'll live upwards of 35, 40 years old. Oh, wow. Um, the largest uh, health issue for great apes is cardiac health. So mm -hmm. a lot of, uh, like, gorillas and things like that have a lot of heart issues. Mm -hmm. That's usually what happens of their cause of death and captivity is cardiac right. arrest. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, here we have a really great training program where they're actually... One of these guys are blood pressure trained, so we have oh, wow. called Tough Cup, which is a oh. like, specially made, uh -huh. uh, laser printed 
very tough material block that we have in a metal sleeve we've made for them at our maintenance bay. Oh, special. Um, we can take blood pressure for these guys, which mm -hmm. is helpful. Um, but we're trying to get other zoos to do it as well because there's no like baseline of what a healthy blood pressure is. Right. We don't know. So if you we need can to get compare. other zoos to cooperate yeah. and kind of compile the data, then we can see where a healthy blood pressure is mm -hmm. and then maybe be able to monitor that cardiac health better. Exactly. So, very special. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you for you. letting us get some good info there. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Have a good day. So that was really special and really important to learn. So I hope you could hear all that. Um, some very important info on how we can at least limit the uh, destruction of their habitats in the wild because they are very endangered. Oh my gosh, there's the little baby. It's so cute. Look at this. Oh, look at this little guy. I mean, how can you not love that? It's too precious. How can you not be in love with that? I mean, they are so endangered and we've got to do our part, whatever small part we can do. I'm going to definitely check out that info she gave us. I hope some of you will. I'm very pleased we got to hear all that because I felt it's important that we all know at least what we can do on our part to at least um, slow down the destruction of their habitats in the wild. And uh, I'm definitely gonna check that out. It's so precious. This is just too special. I didn't know if we were gonna get lucky and see this little guy. And we not only got to see him, we got to see him be fed. We got to hear his keeper tell us some very amazing and important information. How cool is that? Isn't he precious? They do, and like she said, they only live in one place on Madagascar, in Madagascar. So their habitation is very limited already, and it's going quickly, and she's, she predicts that sadly, it's not gonna be long before they are gone from the wild, and that is just heartbreaking. Absolutely so horrible. So we really gotta do our part to try to at least limit that, and I'm gonna do my part, that's for sure. This has been such a special thing to see. I hope y'all have enjoyed it. We have some koi fish down here. There they are. Hello, koi. See them? No, we're not in Japan. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, Louise. Hi, sweetie. Uh, everybody, I'm so sorry. I totally, obviously, didn't want to interrupt what she was telling us, so I didn't talk during that much. And um, you can just see them in the shadows there. There's Mama and Baby. I'm so glad they were able to be reunited. And I'm glad you got to hear the story of what what, ha what happened when when uh, Razak was born. And um, I'm so glad Mom and, Mom and Baby were reunited. And they're thriving and doing well. So that's beautiful. It is so, so sad. We've got to do our part. Not just them, but elephants and tigers. I mean, all these beautiful, amazing animals in our world. And we don't do enough to take care of them. And if we don't start stepping up to the plate, then in a few years, we won't have them. So that's not good. It's heartbreaking. So please take heed. If you just joined, check the replay. We had a beautiful view of the baby being fed. And um, we got to hear some very important information on how we can help and what we can do to check products that are, they, they tear down their habitat to use those products in all kinds of things that you probably wouldn't even imagine, she said. So check that out, and um, I'm going to do that. Hopefully be back here in a little bit with some maybe lions or something. So thank you all for joining. I hope you can still see the baby. I can sort of see the baby through there and the mama. It's clinging to its mama right now. So cute. But thank you so much, everybody, for joining, and have a lovely day. And I hope to see you all here again soon in Stokeland. Bye.